Oh, bees! What the? That wasn't cool. Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and welcome back to VR Gamer Dude. And you know, today, if you can't tell by the smile on my face, I am so excited for what I'm about to show you. So I just got my early access to Asgard's Wrath 2, and this is gonna be quite possibly the biggest game we've ever seen on standalone VR, and definitely the best game that we've seen on Quest 3 yet. So Today, we're just gonna start from the beginning. This will be my first time jumping in. You're gonna get my raw first impressions of the game here. And uh, obviously we can't cover it all. There's over a hundred hours of gameplay in this, but I hope you enjoy this little sneak peek. All right, let's go. Whoa. Hello? Whoa, hey big hand. Follow the thread around. Ah, let's learn yeah. how to move. Okay. Watch as it feels. Oh, like. okay. We got snap turning, so not not bad that it's defaulted to that. I'm really hoping that it is not locked to that. So. Ah, the thread wriggles to the right. Turn and you will see. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh, nice. Very cool. Okay, so let's walk. Okay, good. We are smooth movement right off the bat. So, very cool. So, mixture of smooth movement and snap turning. Not a bad default for beginners. Uh, now, you know, obviously I do not need that, so hopefully when I jump into the options here in a minute, I will find a way to turn that off. Watch what we weave. Okay. What are you weaving? Oh, Battle Crow! Nice! Step forward. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm going to look at the mount here. Wow. That looks awesome. The scale is great. Okay, all right, let's just get on with it. I know. Try to be a little less talky-talky in this one. But I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of ooh and ah. I can feel it coming on. So brace yourselves. At the twilight of the god, twilight. Whoa. You were born of fire and ice. You forged your way. The Bifrost! Across the shimmering path. You crashed And learned from the deepest sea. Until you reach the shores of Asgard. Home of the gods themselves. Skull! The Aesir. The Vanir. A realm where alliances are tenuous. Tenuous indeed. Hanging in the balance. Yes. Oh, this is incredible. The scale of all this is just mammoth. Weaving a tapestry both frayed. Know yours would prove so volatile and incur the wrath of Odin, the All Father. Nice and Almighty Thor. Hey, Thor, God of thunder. bring the thunder. Oh, you oh hey, now to every challenge. Oh, ooh, that made my eyeball hurt. You stabbed that guy in his eye. That was not cool. Let it be escape of a scheme. 
schemer. A trickster. Trickster. <laughs> False god. Go. Oh. You must gather your own thread so that we may weave your fabric anew. Oh, the wings flap. And restore what should be. Hey, I remember this place. Nice. Hello. Hi. Hello? Howdy. Hello. Hello, I'm right here. Daydreaming again? Well, probably. <sighs> Loki's recruit. More like Loki's sacrifice. How long's it been since he left you trapped in here anyway? I bet it's been a long time. Well, wherever Loki is now, he must be up to no good. Probably. Huh. But what could you do? This tavern, this prison, is inescapable. Oh, great. Only the most powerful magic could break its seal. Okay. Threads of fate. So, wants me to grab and inspect the onk, but... Okay, I can't move, so first thing it's going to need me to do is go into the menu and look at the quest book here. And, okay, here's our menu system. And, yeah, it looks very familiar to the first game. Uh, so, it looks like we've got our, our different parts laid out here, which are locked except for the quest book right now. We've got the codex, where we can learn more about everything in the game. Um, the quit and our settings. Okay, so since we are here... Real quick, and I did mention that just a minute ago, I am going to check this out, uh, Just and there's what I was hoping for. So thank you, thank you, thank you developers for allowing us to turn that off. I understand defaulting it on in the beginning for people who are not you know, as fortunate as me to have super strong VR legs. Uh, like, I know my wife playing this, she would definitely need that. But uh, for me, I don't, and, and it does bother me. So thank you again for letting me turn that back off. So, all right. Let's get on with it here. Okay, the Threads of Fate. And it wants me to grab and inspect the Ankh from the bar. Okay. All right, yes, there we go. All right, and real quick, let's learn. Yes, this is our quick menu, and there. All right, so. An ankh, a symbol of life. Take it. Take it. Take it. Okay. Oh, yes, now I can move. Okay, perfect. Nice. Man, the detail level on that looks really good for Quest 3. Okay, so now it wants me to explore the tavern here. And, you know, I gotta say, I spent a lot of time in this room in the beginning game, uh, in, in Asgard's Wrath 1, and it, it looks very, very, very similar, I, very familiar. I, I, I do want to say, and I'll have to go back and play it, to be certain, on the PC, might have looked a little more polishy. Um, obviously, we are still on mobile hardware, but man, I gotta tell you, so far, everything I'm seeing looks incredible in this headset. So, all right, let's go ahead and explore this tavern just a little bit. Whoa. Where's your master Loki now? Well, Garden training. I, I don't know, man. Uh, apparently, he left me here. He was never one of us. Never should have trusted him. I have None learned you do not trust Loki. Loki. The likes of Loki. They always bite the hand that feeds. Yeah. He, he's kind of like that, man. I don't know, though. He's got some redeeming qualities, you know? I mean, let's have a drink here and talk about it. You know, I mean, he, he did, like, save the TVA. And, you know, I mean, like, you know, he's holding the, the threads of time together right now. So, Skull. Uh, 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 you know, I mean, he's not all that bad, but he's kind of, I guess, in this realm, he's kind of a, a horrible person. Yes. Yes. All right. Cool. Got the band back together. Oh, fledgling. Hello. Lord. I'll never understand how you, like Odin, tolerated Loki for so long. Well, Freya, you know. After all the commotion that Loki stirred up at Agia's banquet, we finally had enough. So we imprisoned him here, deep in the yawning room. Oh, world. okay. Or so we thought. Well, obviously you thought wrong, because he got out and trapped me here. Uh, 
Whoa! Still looking for a way out, puny god? Puny god? Not on Thor's watch. Hey, Thor. It's not like the doors open <laughs> You know, last time I saw you, you were kind of fat and sad, man. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to see that you've done some cardio and you've kind of gotten back to your old self there. So, very good. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. So, okay. Let's see here. What else do we got in here? Oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You gonna tell me some stuff, or like you're just gonna laugh at me? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Can I pick these up? No. Okay, so, alright, now I know I said this is not a review. Okay, so this is not a review. This is just a complaint that I've been making in a lot of games. And for those of you who watch my channel, you know what I'm about to go into. And maybe it's because I'm on, maybe I'm disembodied or like it's like the spirit realm. I'm going to have to judge this later on in the game or if we do a full technical review. But this. Why? Why? This is this is a first party triple almost a title. Why is my hand passing through objects in this world? Developers, please make your worlds solid. I, I cannot stress that enough. And I know I've been harping on it in a lot of VR games that I've been reviewing lately and not a, not a review once again. But <laughs> It really is immersion breaking if I can move my hands through objects or put them through walls. Or, so, I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I can put my hand through the wall. It just kind of drives me nuts. So, all right, enough said. I'm not going to keep harping on that. I'm obviously going to enjoy this game no matter what. But again, I implore any developer making any VR game, never let this happen. Make your world solid. All right, enough said. Did you hear? Loki's escaped. Did you hear the good news? The help of some no-name god. Oh, that was probably me, man. From the depths of Dinundagon. What? Loki's disciple went and brought him some magical stones. Oh, he got. What were there like five of them? Like one for every knuckle, or? Gods must be furious. But if Loki's escaped, then what are we still doing? Especially if he's got them five magical stones, we're all kind of hosed. So. Okay, what's in here? Whoa. Oh, hello. Let's have a drink. Let's have two. And and they they shouldn't pass three. No, I said I wouldn't say anymore. All right, fine. All right. Yes, I I feel that, bro. I feel it. Like lately, I feel a little bloated here in the tap. Like I had too much mutton and meat or something. Uh, hello. Whoa! Hey, big guy. Okay. You gonna forge me a weapon? Can I have it? No, I can't have that. Okay. Oh, there's my aunt. I'll take my aunt back. Whoa. What, what happened, everybody? Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? Wait, what's the noises? Something. Yeah, I gotta say the audio in here is really good. Whoa! What the? What the what? Whoa! Oh, big bird. Hey. Oh, you don't see me? Here, I'm gonna hide behind this haunt. It's got birds on it. See these birds? Oh, oh man, you're not happy, are you? Okay, whoa, no, no, oh, I'm, okay, hey! Not cool. Whoa! You just like knocked me out of the tavern back into some sort of reality, I guess. Very cool reality with an aurora. And, oh, it's a little cold. No. Actually, it is a little cold in my studio tonight, so it's gonna give me a little immersion boost here. Can I have my arm back? No. Nope. Oh crap! Oh, you are mad. Okay. Oh, missed you. Okay. Objective completed. Well, you could have told me that a minute ago. Don't don't put that in my face. Oh, 
Yes, you can back his back. Oh, you just got in my face. Oh my god, this is incredible! Okay, this is definitely one that you're going to want to keep your boundaries on because I'm wanting to, like, run all over the place. And if you guys end up staring at my butt, well, you know, sorry. Uh, I'm super getting into this. Ha! Oh, wait, that made me dash. Oh, hold my weapon skyward. I have the power! What? Oh, sweet! Seeker of the Oh, dash! Okay, that's what I just did. Just did that last. Nice! <laughs> I love that! Oh my god, this is like totally making me feel like a badass. Oh, I got you. I got you. Where'd you go? Nice! Going down, son. Going down. Oh, the power of Grace. What? Oh. Nice. Oh, wait, wait. You're in the water. Did I beat you? Wait. Uh oh. Oh no! I just made you mad. Oh, you are not having it. Alright, come on. I got you. Oh, what? Oh, man. Did I just die? This thing went by. Whoa! Oh, I get it. I just fell through the ice. Oh, how cool. <laughs> Digging the music, too. Digging everything about this. Oculus Studios right here, baby. Yeah. Love the name still being there somewhere. And Sanzuru, you've already got me hooked. This is amazing. Oh, man. This is what we have needed. This is so what we have needed. Yes. Okay, welcome to Asgard's Wrath 2. That was quite possibly one of the coolest intros to any VR game I have seen in years, man. And oh, it sets up everything. I am so excited to play the rest of this. Let's go. Okay, so it looks like we got three different methods of play here. We've got Give Me Story, which is you know, going to be a little less demanding on the combat, as it says there. So probably for those who just want to enjoy the story aspect, that's your go. Uh, me, you know, I'm always about a balance. I, I do like a little bit of adventure, but I'm a big story guy as well. But I don't want it to be too easy, you know? So I'm probably going to play Give Me Balance and then Give Me Wrath. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. So we're going to go ahead and go middle of the road. Okay. Some motion, full motion, and immersive. I think I've already got all of this set the way that I want it to. Uh, so full motion though, um, don't need tunneling, and immersive, I want full immersion with no HUD. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna go immersive. We need a guardian. The fabric of the universe demands it. Whoa. The scale of everything in this game is huge! How oh, nice! This strange child. No. So fearful of new beginnings, sister. It sounds like Tendi no from Lower Deck. Now, I will say, and I'll, I'll leave the whole list in the, in the, uh, the, 
the uh, description. I can't even talk I'm so into this. Uh, but there are some super high quality act actors in this game. I mean, really high caliber voice acting. You have transcended. Let us leave you. Save all that has been, and all that is yet to Man, I'm gonna try. Ladies, I am so gonna try. We have seen many things. I imagine. Have Whoa! Called, I've seen I many things now, too. You guys look awesome. Boy, Whoa. Sister. Oh, hey, ma'am. You might want to cover up there a little bit. Uh, this is a family-friendly channel, um, but we'll let it slide. Just, just saying. And you, you are the one who helped Loki escape. Well, I didn't mean it. We lost the thread. Loki's plan is already in motion. Which in peril? We will follow the thread. Okay. As for you, do you feel? I do feel it. A new prophecy forms. One that only you can fulfill. Loki knows you. Underestimates you. I do. Stop him before it's too late. Sister. Nice. Okay, so I'm assuming that you want me to move over there. When he tore a rift in the universe to escape, you already know where it leads. Find Loki in Egypt. In Egypt? Okay. Egypt. Got it. So we're going to go through the Stargate and go to Egypt. Okay. So we're in the in between. We got to go to the Mirror of Destiny here. Did I do anything in here? Wait. What's this? Okay. The in between. Man, this looks nuts. I can't believe this is a Quest 3 game. Or mobile VR in general. I mean, Quest 3's got a lot of horsepower, but... <laughs> okay, let's walk through the mirror. Okay. Nice. Did I say scale was insane in this? Okay, so beginning of Saga 1. Hey, thank you. Oh. Hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. Guards won't be asleep for long. Okay. It's now or never. Sure, man. Lead the way. What do we got to do? There we go. All right, Abraxas. You can do this. Okay, a little on-rails sequence here. Nice! Oh, man! Hey, dude! Whoa! Whoa! It's kind of a cinematic sequence, but it's still freaking me out. You're not even giving me a challenge. Spoke too soon. Yeah, probably. No, this is insane! Okay, I'm not controlling him. So, for anybody watching thinking I am, this is this is all purely cinematic right now, and I'm all for it. So it is true. 
The sun disk has lain hidden here all along. Well, part of it. Hmm. Guess I'll have to find the rest. Forgive me, brother. It's for a worthy cause. Hmm. Okay, this did not work out too well for Indy. I'm just saying. Oh, great. Very worthy. No. Huh? You done did it. I told you. I done saw that movie. Oh! <laughs> Suck, wretch! <laughs> Careful, mortal. You'll break yourself. You should worry. This sword bears special power. Perhaps. But it's wielder! It's quite <laughs> ordinary! Oh, boy. <laughs> My god, this looks insanely cool! beginning of the end to stop him you must stop him we need a living of hope you just gotta believe okay this mortal Abraxas carries that light. He wields it against the gods themselves. It will reveal the Hope Stone. The Hope Stone. The Hope Stone. To find it. To find Loki. You must travel with this mortal. Before his light. His light. Is gone for, for good. good. Hey, Braxis. You need to get up now. Someone there! Right here. Strike me down if you will. I am the thief who breached your precious temple. Ignore his words. His soul calls for you. It will all begin when you nice. your hand and possess him. <laughs> Very cool. What is this power okay. writhing through me like tap snakes? my top wrist to open the compass. Oh, this compass. Okay. There we go. Okay, nice. Okay. And... Oh, cool map. Okay. So it looks like we can zoom around the map and rotate. Love it. Get our details of this quest. Alright, so here we go. Alright. So A, we're gonna jump. Take the sword. Yes, absolutely. I'm happy to take the sword. Okay, and it's having us do all this kind of stuff. For the purposes of a video here, I am gonna kind of skip through some of this. Uh, not skip through, just like really go through it quickly. Um, okay. Okay, I swing my sword. With one swing of my sword. Okay, what do we got here? A chest? Yes. Nice. Okay. Looks like I can keep that. Very cool. Don't suppose you could lift that door, could you? No. no. 
This power inside me is not ready for Probably that. not. Out of reach, of course. But these tendrils of power feel connected to it. Yes. Like if I just reach out. Nice. And still not the greatest surprise today. Oh, okay. Can I not grip it down lower? Got it. Okay, let's go back to the door. This door, I'll never lift it. But these markings... The way out is through the sun disk he holds. Placed it. I just point it. Hmm. Better up than down. Yeah. All right, I got to break all the boxes. That's my thing. Okay, so the weapon is solid, but my hand is not. No, I said I wouldn't harp on it anymore. I'm sorry. I just, I have to. But thank you for making the weapon solid, at least. Whoa. What is this? Oh, okay. Probably a save point. Oh, oh! I have no quarrel with Yeah, I don't... No, we don't got no quarrel possible? with you, buddy. I can see where they are weakest. Just a strike or two to its weak points and it will be dead in no time. Okay. Let's see how throwing is. Nice. Lever across the gap. Yes, I see it. Okay, so I can't do a long jump. Aha. Wall run. Yep. You are the only ones that can sting. Nice. Okay. So got a wall run over there and get the lever. So, you know, the, the gameplay mechanics are sound. Um, definitely not hating on it. I wish I had a little more control over the character. Not gonna lie. Um...
Oh, okay. So, no real climbing. Um, oh, you again. Got your stinger. Oh, I need that, actually. Where'd my healing potion go? Oh, I got an egg. Nice. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so now we do really climb. So that's good. Ah! Gods really think this would slow me down. Well, probably look at slow that guy down. I keep pressing that button and thinking it's run, and I don't know why. Nuh-uh. I did not. Don't want to waste that now. Yeah. Like a taste. To survive. Oh, axe. Axe. I wish you could call it back in midair. Stinger at. Oh, wait. You got buddies. I don't need it. Not now. May need it later. When will they learn? Yeah, exactly. Love that. Aha! Aha! Victory! The gods never do small. No, nothing in this game My does small, man. Strange. I'm and that's what I'm digging about it. This is great. The scale of everything in this is so massive. Show the mortal who you are. Who you are. You must approach the god altar. 
Once you place both hands on the altar. Uh-oh, what'd I do? Okay, I activated the god altar. Whoa, okay. Just like in the first game, now I'm like in the god mode thing where I'm like, everything gets kind of miniature scale. You've left me. I feel heavy. Oh, divine sight. With it. You'll divine the path forward. And see what can't be seen. Okay. You cleared a path for me, but I can hardly move to fight. Your mortal will wander off without you. He won't, but you need him still. Well, don't run, don't wander off, buddy. Uh, I'm bigger than you. Yes, I'm back. You do need me after all. We're partners in the escape, it seems. Definitely partners. Man, this is nuts. Objects, but not a mere pulley. You must be a god. Well, you know, I mean, we power. have kind of limitations, such man. Limitation. You know, my big sausage fingers can't grab onto them little tiny Look, ropes. You've awoken your brother Atum, but he still won't give you a path out. For him, it's all new and strange. Return to your godly form. Oh, godly. Oh. If you want the path out, maybe I'm not the only one who's angered the gods. Okay. So what do I do here? Take these back, maybe? Yes. Aha! Balance the scales. I get it. Where's my axe? Come back. Oh, did I? Did my axe get stuck? A little puzzle here. No. Okay. Are there more? Yes, there are more. That is still. Ha! There we go.
got you. You have it. Nice. Okay, very cool. I have solved the mystery of Atom. Or Atom. Or Atom. Wait, wait, whoa! Oh no! Hey, no, no, no! Can I dual wield? Yes, I can. Come on. Yes! Nice! Come on, bring it! You want a little? <laughs> oh, took your head clean off! Come on! Just for the flesh wound! I love this. I felt your strength. You have no love of set either, I No, I do not. Grab all my loot. Gods taunt me with such riches just beyond reach, but perhaps not all. Uh oh. All right, come on, guys. Come on, boys. Good fight. Yeah. Perhaps today is a good day to die. Ah! Nice. Oh man, I'm almost dead. All right. Let's go. Do I got anything in my belt? Nope. <laughs> oh, very cool. Oh, God, that got me weak in my knees. So there we have it. I died, and I think that's a good place to stop the video for the evening. Because, you know, this is just a nice little early taste of the game, and I want to thank Meta for giving us an early look at this. I've been doing VR for a long time, you guys know that, and, and this is quite possibly one of the most insanely cool experiences I have ever had in virtual reality. So if you have a Quest 2 or a Quest 3, or if you don't, I will have a link in the description. Uh, you know, go grab this game, grab a headset if you don't already have it. You will not be disappointed with this. But for me, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please do me a solid. Hit that like. Hit subscribe if you want to see the next time I do something cool in virtual reality. And ring that bell so you get notified. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.